Welcome to CC Fashion. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this particular outfit. Please, if this is what you're interested in, kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell because we are going to really elaborate on this outfit. We'll start from pattern drafting to how to sew it, how to make the sleeve, how to make most parts of the outfit that you have seen. This outfit is a corset with flare sleeves and it has a basket yoke. You may use a bra cup. You may also choose to make your own cup. Let's move into the pattern. Here is my measurement. I have my horizontal lines already, my bust line, my under bust line, my waist line and my full length if you don't know how to go about this know that this class is not for you so i'm going to input my apex measurement that is 4.5 inches across the bust point to the full length i mark 4.5 inches then i'll use a straight ruler to connect my markings as you can see after that i'm going to locate half of my the midpoint of my shoulder that is from the neck point to the armhole i locate the midpoint and connect it to the bust point then i go ahead and put in my under bust tightening that is 3.5 two inches on one side and 1.5 on the center front Thereafter, I'll connect the line straight to the under bust, just as you can see, and my two inches straight to the under bust. Then I will also mark my chest line, which is four inches up my bust line. You may decide to come down by one inch, making it three inches if you want your cleavage to be revealing. Here, I want everything to be covered up. After that, go ahead and mark your upper bust tightening. It's going to be 2 inches, 1.25 on the side panel and 0.75 on the center front. Thereafter, I connect the center front line using a slightly curved part of the ruler to connect it to my chest line. So that is what I have. Just follow through what I'm doing. Then for the under bust, I also have to connect it with a full curve. Remember the one for under bust is really with a full curve so as to give that bust shape. Then after that, remember to blend your lines very well so as not to have a pointy looking bust. Then whatsoever I have as my under bust to my bust line, I'll divide it into two and place it up from the bust point up. That will be two inches up. And I connect the line as you can see then I connect my half inch line that forms a rectangle of 0.5 inch by 2 inches after that I form my neckline just as you can see just connect the dot to the center points that you have then the first cup I'll place it carefully while using a cuff ruler then on the bust line I will mark out five inches on the bust line that is where i'm going to form my second cup then i extend my upper bust line by two inches that i have taken out that's the dart line if you look at it i have to extend it by two inches and form my new armhole then i also extended my armhole line by two inches from the normal armhole line that i had that's from my bust measurement so i had to extend it again by two inches to normalize everything now let's confirm the measurement again if you can see it is bust point plus two inches so that is what i had for my bust point then for the under bust point i had a quarter of it then i go ahead and add up my 3.5 inches to mark my under bust and i'm doing that directly on the west line while ignoring the under bust line i don't want my corset to have any funny shape then i also input the measurement on the full length that's hips measurement on the full length plus the 3.5 inches that i took out for the darts then i connected everything together then what we have here is what we're going to use in making the cup 
then to make the cup you're going to mark five inches since i had mine to be four but four inch i had to add one inch so if yours is three inches add one while placing the ruler please take note of how i place it it looks so curvy connect it just as you can see to meet up to the bust point and to the upper bust line then i'm going to take in the dart what i'll do here is to take in the dart from my cup side that's from the center front i'm going to simply take in the dart to that line that you can see the center line that i created in between the shoulder so i'm going to open up any parts any part you wish to open up after all i'm going to seal it up thereafter so you may like to open up the under bust and take in the dart just to create your new neck line so that's what i did here i know it may be strange to you but just follow through the tutorial it's really my secret in making corsets and if i'm making corsets trust me you don't need any bra or anything to support your corset you're just going to rock it that way so i'm just basically going to uh open up my clothes just as you can see so as to take in the second dart that is the second dart leg so i go ahead and open my under bust cut it through just as you can see so as to have the paper move to where i want it to be so as to form my other darts to to take in the dart i just hope you're falling through as i said this is not just for beginners but for advanced students people who have made boosters and who know how to manipulate that then from there after taking in my dart i had to connect my line the way it was initially my upper bust line so as to cut out that part that is no longer needed after cutting it off that forms my new neck line that's my new upper bust line and you can see how it goes so at this point i have to confirm my measurement if the upper bust is okay if it is normal that's fine i'm going to release the the masking tape that i had to return everything to where it was having done that i returned the first cup to be the way it was then i go ahead and cut it off cut off my full length and cut out the darts that is no longer needed dress out my bust my neckline remember i'm going to add a yoke for this so i had to trace out those parts that i really need to trace out sorry for that okay that's my yoke and this is going to be my first cup i have to indicate everything when you are drafting make sure that you indicate everything if not you're really going to make a mistake that's my center front and my side front so i've done the cutting out of the camera and this is what i have this is what i have i've cut out the cup as it ought to be and this is my center and side front you see how curvy the cup part looks please try to make yours as curvy as it is once you're able to make it as curvy as it is you will be able to make it come out well you will sew it well but if it is not curvy it will not really contain the burst after cutting everything we're moving over to the back part of it there is a little trick here remember that in the front part on the bust part we added two inches that we use for the dart so for the back we're going to subtract that two inches when it is not unfold it is minus four but if it is unfold it is minus two so we have minus two inches from the back so here we're going to basically place what we had instead to form the back panel when I 
place my front part of it look at the front part i've taken in the dart and i closed it up then i'll just mark follow the lines that i have created for the front part already now my under bust line my bust line my waistline and my hips line i really need the waistline not the under bust line so thereafter i will also mark my shoulder line from that point i'm just marking everything upward at this point then i will go ahead and mark where my shoulder point is and draw my armhole line straight to the upper part as it ought to be now after connecting those lines i have my uh pattern ready for measurement i had to co connect my slant line my neckline point and everything is on point remember that this back part does not need any zip allowance because i'm not using zip instead i am using um lessing so i'm going to make lessing and it's going to be a v-neck as such the yoke will not be a round neck as normal yoke so I'm basically going to slant my shoulder and coming to the bust point i'm going to mark my bust back bust to be normal measurements minus two inches just as i said so i have here 9.5 inches instead of 11.5 inches so i am marking my 9.5 inches on the bust line and i've checked my under bust line is also 9.5 inches a quarter of my under bust line is 9.5 inches then my hips line is what i am marking on the full length so as such i place my hips measurement quarter of it is 12 inches and i connect the lines as well then we are almost at the end of this tutorial please if there is anything that you are confused on don't forget to ask questions on the comment section i will be there to attend to it so you can decide to shape your back the way you want i have my yoke there as such i'm basically going to cut it out you can likewise add your shoulder you can make it an arm hole cuff whatever you want to do anyhow you want to manipulate your back go ahead and do so so i'm adding my arm hole cuff already and everything is coming out clean so this is me cutting out my yoke and i have my back the back part of my outfit ready so this is, has not been easy but we hope that with much practice you can make it there is nothing so difficult for you to do just put your heart into it learn more you will make it so that's my lacing panel that i am trying to cut it out i'm going to just draft that two inches cut it out so as to have open back for lacing so i believe that you must have learned a lot in this video kindly subscribe to this channel please turn on your notification bell anything that you want me to put into these videos into this channel just let me know in the comment section coming up next is how to sew it bye bye for now